Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. So as you can tell from the title, this is gonna be another video about Camp America, and more specifically, what to pack for Camp America. I'm actually gonna compare it to the official Camp America list that's on the website, go through and just kind of discuss what's needed, how many of those things you need, whether there's any alternatives that I figured out were better when I was there. Stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to give you some bonus items that aren't on the official Camp America packing list but I was really glad that I took or wish I took with me. Let's get straight into it. Got my laptop in front of me and I'm actually scrolling through the official Camp America packing list. You know some things are very obvious that you need to take. The first thing on there is underwear obviously. It was about two weeks until our first wash like not out of choice it was just the way it was at camp so definitely take 14 to 15 i would say just to cover you for two weeks or in the event of like anything getting a bit muddy t-shirts is next again you won't need to pack loads because you your camp will probably give you t-shirts so i would say about 10 to 14 different t-shirts just casual ones i went to primark and just got loads of different t-shirts but I would say, and a little like sidetrack to this that I wish I had more of was oversized t-shirts. Now, obviously this is more for the ladies. So boys, you can kind of skip this section a little bit. Perfect for when you just had a shower, but you wanted to be chilled and you were just like in your oversized t-shirt. Obviously you've got shorts on underneath and we had to be careful with wearing oversized t-shirts in the day because it looked like you were just wearing a dress or like a short dress with nothing underneath. But just for like traveling afterwards, it was just so comfy and just so easy to just slip on. Then it says swimming trunks and costume, of course, a given. I'd say maybe take around two or three swimming costumes or trunks. Girls, you need to wear swimming costumes that are like, you know, covering up everything basically save your bikinis for later and depending on what kind of travels you want to do i'd say another two or three bikinis if you like wearing bikinis take two pairs of trainers take one pair of trainers that you're probably going to wear most of the time like comfy trainers but then also take some an old pair of trainers that you don't mind getting a bit muddy they'll probably both get muddy but like one pair that like they're gonna get wrecked. There were some rainstorms at camp and I didn't have wellies. So those trainers were my wellies and you'd have to go out into squelchy mud in the trainers. It's flip flops and I've put in brackets or sliders. Everybody had a mix, but definitely take a pair because it's perfect for the showers. Yeah, you're sharing a your shower that kids are sharing. Like you don't wanna, you might get Veruca. So where are your flip flops? Hoodie, of course, yeah, and I would say take more than one if you can fit it in. Maybe even wear one on the plane and then obviously you've got one in your suitcase. And I'd also recommend like a zippy one as well, just for like the days where it's just like throw it on kind of thing. Shorts and leggings. I'd say you need about five pairs of comfy shorts. I just had like loads of these. Again, these were just from Primark. Save your denim ones for the days off and I'd say you know you only need two three pairs of denim ones it depends kind of what clothes you're saving for your day off and I'd also recommend which I wish that I'd taken more of is cycle shorts like obviously these are quite fashionable at the moment the camp is not a fashion show at all but you know it just makes you feel a little bit good if you're wearing something that makes it looks nice then socks oh my gosh well it says pack lots and it is correct i would say pack like 20 pairs of socks i'm not even gonna lie some days you'll go through more than one pair of socks because again it could be really muddy you could end up getting them wet um and you often lose your socks as well so i ended up having to buy more in walmart so i'd just say stuff them everywhere <laughs> slipper socks even if it's just one pair if your feet get cold and also just when you're chilling in the bunk and you want something on your feet rather than bare feet raincoat now again see i don't think you need if you've not got room this is what i took i took a cagoule it's just one of those um folded up thin raincoat that just folds up like this and it was great and obviously it's not very thick but it's never really going to be that cold at camp and if it is you can put your hoodie on underneath and then you're protected on the top for those rainy days 
PJs, again, are given, I would just say like three to four pairs. I'll find that you wear them longer than you would at home. Um, I think, you know, I would wear the same PJs for like a week at camp. Like it just is what it is. You're not the cleanest person when you're at camp, but no one is. T-shirt and shorts, obviously make sure that they're appropriate. Take one or two pairs of like long pajama pants as well, because some nights it can be a little bit nippy. Then it says a nice outfit. Now, Camp America, now, maybe for boys that's okay, one nice outfit, but I definitely wish that I took more nicer clothes. Now, it depends what kind of person you are, so obviously this may be irrelevant to some of you, but just on the days off, and for traveling, I just felt like I was sick of just boring t-shirts. Try and pick something that will fold up. Roll as well when you're packing. Roll everything and it fits way more in. A few nice tops, a few skirts, a few summer dresses. Um, obviously for boys, just maybe a couple of nice shirts. Because um, especially if you're planning to go traveling afterwards, like you might go for a nice meal. Those days out, like you just want to you know what I mean? One or two pairs of jeans as well. You could even travel in those. Toiletries, again, I'm not gonna go into detail about that. Just take what you need. Take enough for about two weeks. You don't need any more than that because then you can go to Walmart and buy more. It then says sleeping bag. Now this, I just don't, please don't take a sleeping bag. Like unless it says on your specific camp website you need a sleeping bag don't find out when you get to camp whether you're going to go on a trip or something whether you need a sleeping bag and in that case you can go to walmart and buy a sleeping bag and it says an alarm clock like no that is so unnecessary you do not need an alarm clock and plus you've no idea if you're gonna even have a bedside table to put it on but i would say if you've got one then like a watch that bleeps to wake you up is so much better in terms of watches one if you've got a waterproof watch amazing because I jumped in the lake so many times with my watch on and I was like, oh, crap. If you've got like a Fitbit or for example, I bought this on Amazon, it was like 20 quid. It counts your steps. Like even if you're not really that interested in how many steps you do, I just found it fascinating and so impressive of how many steps you would do each day at camp. Definitely need a watch for sure. An alarm clock, mm, not not really. Something will wake you up in the morning, whether it's like at my camp where it was like a huge thing that went off and it was like, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Sunglasses, yep, yeah, definitely. I would say take a couple of pairs. Obviously, if you're like me, then I had to have prescripted ones. So please make sure you look after them. But I still took some spares, just cheap Primark ones. Another thing that's not on the list, but I would definitely recommend for all you boys and girls, a cap sunscreen so american get used to that rather than sun cream um again just take enough for like a couple of weeks before you go to walmart but i would say and it saved me from getting burnt and i always get burnt so what i did was put cream on in the morning and then i took in my backpack around camp um a spray uh sun cream and it was literally like one of those invisible ones that you just spray and it just covers and you don't have to rub it in it just protected me i still managed to get a tan you get a lovely t-shirt tan when you're at camp camera again don't think you need a camera it's not necessary um you've got your phone obviously sometimes your phone will get locked away so if i was going to recommend anything i'd maybe say um just one of those disposable ones um they can be really cute like one of my camp friends only actually got hers like developed recently and it was just so nice because you've just never seen them before you've also got like a polaroid camera or something like that I could take that that can be really cute and i was so so thankful for the people that have polaroid cameras but at the same time if you're not very responsible or you might forget it or it might get broken maybe don't take that bug spray i just say you just need a little small one and then if your camp is prone to loads of bugs that bite then go and get another one at walmart now it says journal now this would have been at my end of my video if it wasn't on but oh my god even if you're not the type of person to like keep a diary because i wasn't but i'm so thankful for this but i actually and a few people did this at camp wrote in every day what happened 
happened even just some days it was bullet points and now i can just look back at this and just remember those like little moments then it says home comfort again this is completely up to you i actually took um photos which i was so thankful for stuck them up over my wall the kids are always so interested and love to see like oh my gosh is that what you actually look like when you've got makeup on yeah i took um a rugby t-shirt some people had flags like you can just kind of make your little bunk area just perfect for you because everyone kind of decorates their own bunk area favorite chocolate brand and some uk tea bags yep 100 percent. although just be careful with your chocolate or food that you take at camp like my camp weren't happy about it so just hide it keep it in your suitcase don't get it out in front of the kids um but you will be thankful for that like bite of cabries every now and then honestly a small backpack yep so i actually had a small backpack that i took around with me every day at camp but something that's not on the list that i would say is so handy for boys and girls is is your bum bag slash fanny pack whatever you want to call it i bought this one in walmart because it was the only one there but obviously if you've got like more of a stylish one then go for that this one was great though because it was it was it's actually quite big and i could fit so much in it some days i could fit like my sun cream and my water bottle in this it's great for like when you're traveling because everything important is in front of you. $150 in cash. I'd say, yeah, that's fine. You'll probably get paid by camp in cash as well. So you'll get more cash. But what I would definitely recommend, which was so handy for me, was a dollar card. My dollar card was with Fair FX and it was a MasterCard. But basically, like it was so easy. You just sign up for your dollar card and then you get an app and you can just transfer money over from your own personal bank account into the dollar card and just to keep topping it up and i use that all the time because then you don't get like weird charges or anything and you just like buy everything in dollars the question that you're all wondering suitcase or backpack best bags that i was jealous of were those big suitcases where the, those new ones that like wheel in any direction you just pull it along at the side of you like there's only a few times where having it on your back is probably handy i would say a suitcase with easy wheels is probably your best go-to don't pack your suitcase full before you leave because you are obviously going to buy things you're going to accumulate like hoodies tops and stuff from camp that you'll want to keep so the final part of this video i'm just going to give you a few more things i wish i had taken slash was really thankful that i took okay so the first few things is find out from people that went to your camp before if they do any kind of fancy dress now most things like fourth of july and whatever you'll get when you get there because you'll have a time to go to walmart and you'll get all your fancy bits At my camp we had to have a red t-shirt and we also did like a square was it square dancing or line dancing i don't know but they said if you've got a check shirt wear a check shirt i didn't have a check shirt who thinks to take a check shirt but just kind of find out if there's any kind of like fancy dress vibes take a blanket if it fits because that will just be so good for your travels when you're on the coach and also if you're lying in bed and all you've got is a sheet putting that on top would be fab but it's not essential if it doesn't fit it doesn't fit you can buy it over there if you can fit these in these will be a lifesaver at camp especially depending on where you are if there's going to be rainstorms wellies or as they call them in america rain boots i was so jealous of all the kids that had rain boots even just those like small ones like just anything but obviously just old shoes a coolies bottle doesn't have to be the branded one they sell these everywhere now oh my god it is a lifesaver because your water gets warm so quick at camp with this it stays cold all day and oh it's just the best and then some evenings i'd go and make a cup of tea put the cup of tea in there it stays warm so be careful though because i actually burnt my tongue when i did that that i would say is an essential if you want to spice up your hairdos scrunchies or just any kind of like cute hair accessories find that like you're not worried really wearing much makeup you're not really wearing that nice of an outfit so just putting a little scrunchie in your hair spicing it up a bit each day just kind of makes you feel good a game if you've just got like a pack of cards or like uno or something like that something that you love playing take it because you'll have some downtime the kids will love to play it and also your campmates will also love to play it and again for your downtime 
downtime, I'd recommend taking a book. Obviously, if you're not into reading or whatever, maybe take like a puzzle or just something to pass the time. Portable charger. One of these ones is great. These ones last forever and, well, not forever, but you can get like four charges out of these. Something that I wish that I had but never did have is a mirror a little portable mirror this is going to be perfect for when you're at camp and all the kids are in front of the mirrors and you've not got chance for your travels just everywhere a little mirror goes a long way i hope that that helped and just kind of made you realize like what's essential how many things you need um, and just some extra items that I really think will be useful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because there's loads more videos to come. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions or if you want me to cover anything else. If you are going to Camp America this year, have the best time taking every moment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.